when a crisis has occurred, at the end of the day, you simply cannot go back and repair whatever happened. Uh, the oil is out of the well. The uh, uh, situation has been reported. And people extrapolate uh, and base their uh, uh, evaluation of you by how you handle it going forward. Are you someone who's credible? Are you trustworthy? Uh, and once you come to the decision or come to the realization that the story is out, that it's going to be moving, you're always better off to put it out on your own terms. Get the credibility for it. Get the uh, benefit of the doubt in terms of actually providing the whole story out there. Uh, and so the first and most important of the Ten Commandments, the one that really sort of sets your course going forward, is the capacity to go out there and put it out on your own terms, fully disclose it. Who is the most important audience that you are speaking to that you're disclosing information to? Because ultimately, those people are the ones who are going to make a decision up or down on whether you're credible and whether ultimately you can be trusted uh, going forward. So you need to identify exactly who it is. Now, typically, there's a series of co-centric circles, right? There's a bullseye uh, of the most important audience or most important audiences, and it expands outward. It doesn't mean you have to be mutually exclusive. You could talk to all the audiences, but most importantly, you need to make sure you are talking to your core audience and build out from there. What you certainly do not want to do when the flames are out there is take a big gallon of gasoline and throw it on. Right? The proverbial, don't bring the backhoe in when you find yourself in a hole and keep on digging. So you want to take a step back and consider every single action that you take, every single step that you take, every statement that you make, every comment that you make. Is it done in a way that is going to allow you to be credible and trustworthy? Uh, or are you doing stuff that may unintentionally actually contribute to the particular problem that you're dealing with? And the only way you can kill bad facts or correct bad facts is with good facts. And so there is a burden of proof, so to speak, on the person who is in a crisis. You simply can't say that what's been reported is not true or it's only half true uh, or that there's another side of a story. To actually get your story out there, to actually convey and communicate effectively and in a credible way, you either have to be able to provide people the specific facts, particularly the core facts that they're looking at in a particular situation, or you need to be able to identify a process that you're going to pursue to be able to get to those. But at the end of the day, you can't get the small details wrong, right? There's been so many situations where someone has been in a crisis and they've actually tried to do everything right. They've disclosed. They've disclosed to the core audience that they want to talk to, but they get a fact wrong. They get a fact right. They have something off. And suddenly that particular thing that they missed, that particular detail that they got wrong, looms much bigger because people are going to have a very cynical and skeptical perspective of them. And if that detail is wrong, they're going to think for some reason you're trying to hide it or for some reason you're not trying to communicate it in a truthful way. So you have to make sure that when you're going to put the information out, you've thought through the questions that you're going to get and you either can answer them with a level of detail and specificity that your core audience expects or provide a process that you will pursue pursue to ultimately get there. Hold your head high means you cannot be embarrassed uh, about the situation, so embarrassed that you're not willing to put out the entire story. There's the, the full Monty, we call it, right? Which is you have to put everything out there and you want to do it in one fell swoop because your ability to actually move beyond the crisis, to control it, to limit the ultimate damage, you know, is dependent on your willingness and capacity to go out there and make sure you put it all out there uh, in one fell swoop and do it uh, and not keep different pieces back uh, and not do it in a way where the information ends up dribbling out over the long term. Go head held high, pop the balloon, get it out there, and you're done with it. Be straight about what you know. Be straight about what you don't know. And in situations where you don't have information, make sure you put in place some type of a credible process so that your audiences believe you're ultimately trying to get that information. Typically, the way this will manifest itself is a company, an organization is facing some kind of a challenge. They simply don't know what the answers are, can't get their hands around all the information, so they bring in an outside expert to conduct a review that is ultimately made public or a review that makes recommendations which are ultimately adopted. Uh, but you need to make sure that you're being very clear with your audiences. This is what we do know. There's some stuff we don't know, but we're actually giving you guys a process so that, and we're conveying what that process is going to be. And then we're meeting the expectations that we're establishing by putting this process out there so that those audiences do have faith that you're trying to get the answers that they want to hear. In crises, uh, there is a natural uh, human tendency to not communicate as forcefully and as effectively 
uh, as you need to when, in fact, in a crisis, you want to err on the side of almost over-communicating. Um, now, to begin with, uh, the, the, there is so much noise and information out there uh, that en enable to break through with your message, to resonate with your core audience, to give the information that people are looking for. You need to do it loudly. You need to do it consistently. You need to do it repetitively. Uh, and you need to do it in a way that ultimately does resonate with them so that they are hearing it. Uh, so when you're in a crisis, that's not good enough just to put out the information. Sometimes it's not good enough just to put out the information once. You have to do it any number of times. And you have to be able to determine, is your core audience hearing this, right? Because you could be fully disclosed. You could be doing everything right. But if they don't hear it, you're not actually accomplishing what your strategy is designed to accomplish. <music> Typically, in, in a crisis situation, uh, there are multiple entities involved. Uh, multiple people who may face exposure or be, or be part of the crisis. Uh, and in those types of a situation, you have to look around uh, and figure out if there's a way to get yourself in, on stage, and off stage as quickly as possible. Now, that's part and parcel of making sure you put the information out there, that you're taking responsibility, that you're doing it head held high, that you're putting all the details. All of those things come together, but it can be extremely beneficial to be the first guy on there and then the first guy off because typically the others who are left on stage end up having a much longer protracted challenge uh, as opposed to getting yourself out of the crisis and moving on to your next stage. In a crisis, there will be someone who's a competitor, someone who's an opponent, someone who may not necessarily have clean hands in this entire situation, and in fact may be involved in putting information out, may be involved in trying to inflict damage and harm on you, and getting that information out will certainly impact how external audiences view you and in fact interpret that information. Uh, and so if there is someone out there trying to fan the flames, uh, it's ultimately important for other folks to know that and be aware of it, and it's incumbent upon you because no one else is going to do it. It's incumbent upon you to make sure that you point that out and you do it forcefully. Now, to do that effectively, you also have to make sure that you've done the other commandments. Uh, you have to have the basis for being able to say, here's our information. We're holding ourselves accountable. We're being responsible. But, by the way, there's another part of the story that you should be aware of that I think will reframe it or put it in a different type of a context. If someone is an opponent of yours or if someone has unclean hands and is involved in disseminating information that is, that is causing you problems and they themselves make a misrepresentation, a good way to be able to turn the tables, put the issue back on them, diminish the amount of exposure that you have is to specifically point out the misrepresentation or misrepresentations that they are making. That helps you establish your credibility, and at the same time, it undermines their credibility and allows you to create a different narrative, an alternative narrative out there on the particular crisis.